Welcome to the Here's My Story channel. I'm Luna. It was the day before my exam, so I was studying. First, I heard a scream, followed by my mom's crying. I rushed out of my room in a panic. My twin sister was lying on the bathroom floor. Mom was crying. Rose, honey, please, please open your eyes. What's going on, I asked. Rose was loading the washer. Suddenly she collapsed, she replied in between sobs. I looked at my sister. She was such a bad actor that it was obvious she was pretending. Mom, Rose didn't pass out. She's trying to get out of laundry duty. Can't you see that? I asked her. Can you hear what you're saying while your sister is lying unconscious on the floor? You're so mean. She snapped back at me. Right then, Rose half opened her eyes and mumbled, Where am I? What happened to me? I was so annoyed. Where am I? What happened to me? I said, mocking her, and added, Ugh, such a terrible performance. My mom, on the other hand, seemed to have bought her act. Rose, thank God. Honey, I can't tell you how scared I was. Can you get up? Let me get you some water. She said to her, and then turned to me. Luna, your sister needs to rest. You go on, load the washer. I glared at Rose. You weren't believable at all. You can fool mom, but not me. I want you to know that, I said. It was believable enough for mom, my sister said with a smirk. My sister and I had all these house chores we were supposed to do. It was my turn to wash the dishes and vacuum clean the floors that week. And Rose was supposed to do the laundry and the grocery shopping. But she pulled this dirty trick as she always does to get out of doing her own part. As she was leaving the bathroom, Rose said, I started this great show and it's getting really exciting. I need to go back to binging it. <laughs> By the way, the bed sheets need to be washed as well. I was livid with rage, but there was nothing I could do. I held my fists up and screamed, Duh! My sister had just confessed she was a fraud, but I couldn't tell my mom because I was sure she wouldn't believe me. Rose was my mom's favorite. We were twins, so I couldn't really understand why mom loved her more. What's worse was my dad felt the same about her. It was hard for me to accept it, but my twin sister Rose was both of my parents' favorite. I'm going to tell you something that happened recently. This way you can see the extent of my parents' favoritism. I've been swimming since the age of eight. I'm on the school swimming team and have won many medals in competitions. My twin sister Rose is on the volleyball team at school, but her team is doing so bad that they don't have a single win. Yet, they still participate in all the high school level tournaments and naturally they come in last. Despite this fact, my parents would go to every single game of hers. My meets, on the other hand, were completely ignored. I repeat, they never missed one of Rose's games, but they never made it to one of my swimming races. Once I won a gold medal in the 200 meter freestyle race among all the high schoolers after breaking a record for my age. This was my biggest achievement so far. I wore my medal home that night, but no one from my family congratulated me. I was annoyed. I sat down to dinner with my medal on. They still didn't say anything. Mom, Dad, aren't you going to ask me how I won this medal? I said, oh, wow, I didn't see it until now. Is that a real medal? Mom answered, feigning surprise. Dad defended himself by saying, oh, I thought it was a necklace. I couldn't tell it was a medal. This is a gold medal, and I won this by breaking a record today. You know Rose's team will lose every time, but you don't miss any of her games. How many of my races did you attend? Zero. None, I said. Luna, why are you comparing yourself to Rose? We're not playing favorites. She's younger than you, so she needs more support, Mom said with a frown. Mom, what kind of argument is that? Let me remind you, Rose and I are twins. She was born only 17 minutes after me, I replied. Doesn't matter. Even if it's by 17 minutes, she's still younger than you. You're her big sister. You need to act more maturely. My mom responded without shame. While my parents were defending their outrageous ideas, Rose kept nodding along and saying things like, Exactly. That's right. Same. Indicating that she agreed with them completely. My parents always preferred Rose over me, but after that night, this preference became official. For example, for our birthday, they bought Rose a new computer and only a t-shirt for me. We both got low grades on the math exam, but I was the only one who got a talk from our father about how I was supposed to study harder. Rose was spoiled rotten. She didn't even have to fake anything to get out of doing her chores anymore. She simply said, Luna should do it. The same thing happened that day.
Mom called me and Rose. We need things from the grocery store. Whose turn is it? Mom, it's my turn, but I need to study. Have Luna do it, Rose said, leaving me to do all of her work myself. I knew she wouldn't be studying, but if I said anything, she would have told me things like, You're the big sister. You should be acting more mature. I took the shopping list from my mom and was on my way without protest. After this point in the story, something wonderful happened to me. Rose made the biggest mistake of her life by sending me to the store, and she regretted that decision very much. But we had no idea back then. The grocery store we always shop from is 10 minutes away from our house. It's the biggest store in the area. I took a shopping cart and started walking along the aisles. When I checked off all the items on the list, I headed over to the register. In line, there was a lady in front of me. It was my turn after she was done paying. One by one, I gave all of the products in the shopping cart to the cashier. It all came to $28. I took out $40 from my pocket and handed them over to the cashier. She smiled (laughs) while giving me the change and said, Congratulations! This is your lucky day! I stared at her blankly. Suddenly, I heard clapping. Two girls approached me, screaming, Congratulations! Congratulations! One of them was holding a necklace made of flowers. She put it on my neck. The other one was holding a huge cardboard banner. It said, congratulations, one million dollars, the millionth customer. Then a guy with a mic ran towards me. He was accompanied by a cameraman. The man held the mic to my face and excitedly screamed, congratulations, you are the millionth customer to shop from our store and to win one million dollars. I couldn't believe my ears. Really? I won a million dollars? I asked in disbelief. The presenter said, yes, you won exactly one million dollars. We've been waiting for the millionth customer for days now. The lady ahead of you is customer number 999,999. You are entitled to the cash prize as the millionth customer of our grocery store. Please wave to the camera. The video will be up on all the TV channels tonight. It's unbelievable, but I won a million dollars at the store that day and became a millionaire. I gave the shopping bags to my mom and went to my room. I didn't say anything to anyone. When the story aired on all the TV channels, my family would know. I was curious about how they were going to respond. That evening, while I was happily listening to music in my room, my mom, dad, and Rose suddenly barged in. Luna, my sweet girl, did you win a million dollars at the grocery store today? My mom squealed. I simply nodded, smiling. Oh, unbelievable. Congratulations, honey. So where's the money? My dad asked. I smiled and said, it will be deposited into a bank account in my name. Unlike my parents, Rose looked very angry. That money should have been mine. It was my turn to go to the store. You have to give me those million dollars. She yelled. Calmly, I said, if you had been to the grocery store, you would have been the one who got the money, sis, but you sent me over there with your fake excuses, which means that money is mine down to the last penny. Rose started crying. Mom, Dad, say something. Doesn't that money belong to me? She pleaded with our parents to help her out. This time, they didn't act like she wanted them to, because now I had a million dollars. They had to be on my good side if they wanted the money. Rose, will you stop acting like a baby? That money belongs to Luna. It would have been yours if you'd actually made it to the store, Mom yelled. Then she turned to me. She said, Luna, honey, let's go out to dinner to celebrate this wonderful news. You, me, and your dad, what do you say? I should have been annoyed with them for treating me better now that I was a millionaire, but instead I wanted to enjoy this for a change. They thought, thanks to me, they'd gotten rich, but I had no intention of giving them a single penny. From then on, nothing was the same. I became my parents' favorite kid. I had a swimming race last week, and my parents were in the front row. My dad was holding a gigantic sign that said, Go Luna! They kept screaming my name and cheered me on throughout the race. Rose hadn't come to terms with this change yet. Every day without exception, she comes into my room and says, It was my turn to go to the store. That money is mine. She goes back to her room when I refuse to engage with her. She wants to fight me, but she can't get the reaction she's looking for from me. That's actually understandable. I'm her big sister, after all. I should act my age. 